sequences are a really easy question at GCSE on a higher paper to pick up marks. It's just a case of remembering the simple rule. Here are the first four terms of a sequence, 7, 12, 17, 22. Find the nth term of this sequence. So this means find a rule for this sequence. Now if you look at this sequence, you should spot that it's going up constantly by 5. So you add 5. Add 5, add 5. And if you're asked to find the next term, you'd add 5 again and get 27. Right, because it's going up in 5s, that means we're using the 5 times table. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And our sequence is 7, 12, 17 and 22. And what you should notice to get from 5 to 7, from 10 to 12, from 15 to 17, from 20 to 22, you add on 2. Now we're looking at the nth term rule. So remember, this top bit is when a term is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So we're looking at 5n, that's what we call this row, our times table. And as we said, to get from each of those terms to so one below, we add on 2. So the rule is 5n plus 2. And that gets you two marks. But you must remember that that value that the, the sequence is going up in is multiplied by the n. So if it's going up in 3s, it's 3n. If it's going up in 8s, it's 8n. If it's going down, it would be, for example, if it's 10, 7, 4 it's going down in 3, so it would be minus 3n. So just remember that that value is the value that gets multiplied by the n, and it will be two easy marks. Part b says the nth term of another sequence is given by n squared plus 3n plus 2. And we're asked to find the first two terms of this sequence. If we're finding the first two terms, that means we're going to put in the value of 1, where n is, to get the first term and get the second term, we're going to put in the value 2. So, let's substitute 1 in to the sequence. So it's 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2. Well, 1 squared is 1, add 3 is 4, add 2 is 6. So the first term is 6. Second term, we're going to put 2 in, so 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 2. 3 times 2 is 6, remember. So 2 squared is 4, add 6 is 10, add 2 is 12. So that is how you find the first two terms of a sequence.